They've been all around the ground at the moment. Burnley fans everywhere, even in the home end, and now they're on the pitch. The Carlisle fans must be outnumbered some four to one. But the Burnley fans are just taking the carnival atmosphere a little too far at the minute. Um, they're rightly being shunned away by the players. Well, there must be at least 7,000 Burnley fans here. They're everywhere. They're in the home end. They're in their way and they've filled both sections. They've just invaded another section. It really is quite amazing. Let's run through the two sides, though. Carlisle line up with Callum O'Hanlon in goal. Two is Derek Walsh. Three, Jeff Thorpe. Four, Darren Edmondson. Five, John Holliday. Five, six is Andy Barnsley. Seven, Mick Holmes. Eight, Gl Gwyn Thomas. Nine, Andy Watson. Ten, Dean Walling. And 11, Jason Prince. The two, Carlisle. Substitutes are Craig Potts and Lee Armstrong. Burnley, they line up with David Williams in goal. Two is Ian Meesham. Three, Joe Jacob. Four, Steve Davis. Five, John Pender. Six, Andy Files. Seven, Robbie Painter. Eight, John Deary. Nine, John Francis. Ten, leading goal scorer, Mike Conroy. Eleven, Steve Harper. And the two Burnley substitutes are Mark Monington and Paul McKenzie. That means that Roger Eli, Mark Yates, all not playing along with Graham Lancashire. Of course, Roger Eli serving a suspension. The noise you can hear... It's really quite unbelievable. As I was saying, the Burnley fans everywhere, they're still streaming into the ground. They've filled the two away sections, one that normally is a home end. They then went to the other end and filled that. They've now invaded the other home section. They've filled the end of the seating area. And if ever an away team can make a home game, away game their home, Burnley have done it here today. Burnley needing just four points for the title, three points for promotion. The mascots leaving the field along with the substitutes were ready to kick off this crescendo of a fixture. Mike Conroy and the rest of the players all in good health after spending the night in Carlisle. Jimmy Mullen awaiting victory as are 7,000 Burnley fans. It really is quite unbelievable. There must be a round, I make it a, one and a half, 2,000 Carlisle fans here, and then another seven or so thousand Burnley supporters. They were everywhere on the motorway, all round the ground, they're all round the stadium in the seats, standing up. And as we kick off this game, the noise you can hear me is the Burnley fans on the terracing. Watson for Carlisle. Here's Ian Meesham. Mick Holmes, great challenge from Francis. Watson again, uses his man down the line, Jeff Thorpe. It's what Burnley don't want, is an early goal against. As Pender sorts things out, and now maybe Steve Harper with a run. Harper takes on number four, Darren Emerson. Emerson's tackle, though, is perfect. And the atmosphere around me is electric. Harper again. I can't imagine what they'll do if they score Burnley. And if they do go up here today, well, it'll be a tremendous setting and finish for some tremendous fans. Unbelievable, I can actually hear myself think for a minute. Davis with a the header out, there's Harper again. Burnley, who beat Carlisle early in the season, 1-0. But they drew here last season, one all. But with this sort of following, with games in hand still for the title, and three points needed only if the results go the right way for the championship, you really do feel it's Burnley's day. Conroy knocks the ball on for Francis. Kellum O'Hanlon, who was voted PFA goalkeeper by professionals for the fourth division. 
launches the kick. Joe Jacob. Barnsley didn't foul Francis. But now we will get the free kick and it's Carlisle's way. The police are now trying to cut off the Burnley fans route into the Carlisle end. It really is quite amazing. A hundred mile trip, at least for the Lancashire team. Not one of them has made it with any quarrel at all. Carlisle though pressing forward. Walling knocks down for number four down Emerson. Burnley get in the way and win the free kick. has started the stewards have lost control the police now moving in it's not what we wanted let's hope Burnley can calm things down with a goal Francis finds Painter does he know Carlisle now looking to counter attack Walling has got Watson there Walling just holding play up and he's won a free kick against Francis Mick Holmes plays the ball short. The shot's blocked by Davis, or rather Farrell. Here's Francis now for Burnley. And Barnsley gets back to knock the ball back to Kellam O'Hanlon. We play five minutes or so. The Burnley fans who are doing a Mexican way before the game need now just to calm things down and cheer on their side to victory Jacob it's going to come straight back by Barnsley walling now being allowed a little room Watson back for Holmes walling again drives the shot into Steve Davis Harper in a corner and he's got out of it and won a free kick for that challenge there by Gwyn Thomas. Still people streaming into the ground. There were suggestions that the game might be delayed when the fans started to invade the pitch because the goal to my left was opened, the terracing behind it, we thought it might, it however has kicked off on time. But at the moment it's meant the atmosphere is on a knife edge. The game yet to create any real chance and hopefully that will help to settle down the players and the fans. And we're still queuing outside to get in. Quite amazing. Conroy, half an hour. Wins the ball, Farrell with a long pass, looking for Painter. Misham should pick the ball up, he'll let it roll out instead for a throwing. Farrell forward again. And the offside there, giving against John Francis. The noise bar raises again, here's Jason Prince. Meesham's with him and calmly gets back to his new keeper David Williams who came into the side for the Cardiff game with Racing Chris Pearce. That win on Wednesday night was not only gratifying, it also means that Burnley now three points clear with four games in hand over their nearest rivals. Promotion can be assured tonight or rather today, it can
be certified and the title on Tuesday night. Here's Carlisle moving forward, Thomas with a delicate chip, great save by Williams and suddenly Carlisle come very near to giving us our opening goal of the game. Corner played short to Watson. Opportunities here. Holmes again involved. Watson will have a job to keep that one in and doesn't. Barely get the goal kick. Uh, David Williams gets the applause. John Francis turns out of the first challenge and battles his way through the right back. He's got options here, Francis. He just couldn't get the shot in and Jason Prins and Darren Edmondson were back there to do the defending job. Francis's pace will certainly cause second from bottom Carlisle problems. There's no doubt about that. They will go part-time next season. That is certain Burnley should be in the new second division if the Premier League goes through and they can pick up a win here today. <laughs> 2 4 for Walling, but it comes to him off Misham. His shot's well saved again by David Williams. Robbie Painter, we've seen a lot of good football from him in the last two games. After the indecision of Scarborough, then the destruction of Cardiff. A win here today with this sort of following as a necessity, but not... But not a, ne a need that has to be fulfilled with games in hand. It's not a Manchester United situation, this. Burnley could still do it, even if they are defeated here today, or they only pick up a draw. One win is needed, that's all. Four points for the title. Williams into the high, Carlisle Sky, Conroy can't win that one, Robbie Painter though picks the ball up, unfortunately John Holiday was there to clear. There's trouble again to my left, the Carlisle fans though moving straight out of the way. It was one Carlisle fan who incited the Burnley followers and that was very, very stupid. It doesn't need this sort of atmosphere. And the incitement then onto the Burnley fans has resulted now in even more chaos below me. You get the feeling it could break out any minute. The Carlisle fans have moved away even farther now they're taking no risks at all there's a danger of the pitch being invaded Ian Meesham let's get back to the game that's where it matters oh this is not on at all and now really things are getting out of hand there's a crush below me it needs to be sorted out. I think the referee might have a long look at this in a minute and decide to take the players off. It would seem the sensible option until things can get sorted out. There's chaos all around. This ground just couldn't cope with the number of Burnley fans here. The referee, Mr Hart, is taking a long look.
the police are in but there's not enough of them and it's not what we wanted it should have been a carnival atmosphere it was 10 minutes before the kickoff and then something happened the police let the Burnley fans in to the end to my laugh left and suddenly from then on there's always been trouble brewing the police look to have took command of the situation again let's hope they can keep control here's Watson now back on the field good ball through chance here for Barnsley Thomas but Prince is on saw offside and Burnley get the free kick Jimmy Mullen looking concerned as anybody couldn't win the ball off Misham and now picks the ball up off Thomas pushes it too far in step Steve Davis here's Harper he's got room here he's also got Mike Conroy making a screaming run to his left Jacob outside goes through to Joe Jacob what can Burnley provide Jacob however couldn't and Carlisle in a corner uh, they win the throw off Jacob Walsh's ball out as Mick Holmes just receives some attention we played 15 minutes of this game we've had one chance that fell to Carlisle the rest has really been about what has been happening off the field <laughs> Nick Holmes fit to continue And the Burnley game, Burnley, Carlisle game will get back underway. Walling, Davis up in the air. Prince, he's been pursued by John Pender, who gives away the throw. Prince again, nice ball to Watson, Holmes who had that shot earlier and he drives in another one but it's well wide and Burnley will get the goal kick. the kick Conroy heads it down and finds the mission but the free kick is already given by Mr Hart referee today's game the lines Mr Natchez and Mr Oliver Mr Natchez has the yellow trim Mr Oliver the red Farrell high ball inside the box Steve Davis is up flicks it on Conroy does the same chances here for Burnley Francis however couldn't get on the end of the final touch Misham lets the ball run out for the throw Robbie Painter takes on the Carlisle defence superb tackle by Jeff Thorpe though and Watson gets the ball out for another throw but cleans the cameraman out but he shouldn't be there 
on the edge of the field and it really does serve him right. And there's a few smiles on a few people's faces which is good to see. Joe Jacob finds Steve Harper who loses the ball but he keeps going and looks to have picked up the free kick. Takes it quickly with Jacob. Front Harper's there. Francis Luke to be coming to help. Opted against it. Now Carlisle trying to counter attack. Certainly the atmosphere and the large crowd will help them. They'll want to do just as well as Burnley. As the cross is drove in, Williams misses it and it's straight past the post. The left back there, Jeff Thorpe, springs in the away and he was. An inch or so of causing the opening goal again. Harper. Forward by Pender. Francis now. Launches in the cross, it's nowhere near anybody. Davis forward again, here's Robbie Painter. Painter decides that the option's on to run, the offside flag however, has pinned back John Deary. <laughs> Barnsley, out by Misham. Watson down the line for Thorpe again. Misham this time has the beating of him and Davis continues the clearance he's been given a lot of room has Andy Watson and he's found a lovely ball through to Williams has to come for it Walling just couldn't get on the end free kick against Conroy Holiday been given an elbow there by Fernley's leading goal scorer. Walling is beaten out by Pender. Conroy loops for half of the ball is too far and out for a throw. His control let him down for once, tried to be a little too tricky, as did Watson, but he wins the ball back. Prins, sloppy stuff, Farrell now maybe to bring Burnley away, Francis is the man who looks to release, and Francis is the man who picks up the ball, what can he do? He's taking on Edmondson, tried to lay the ball through to John Deary, great defensive job by the Carlisle defence, here goes Walling now on the counter-attack. Dean Walling driving through the Burnley defence. Mick Thomas was the man he should have played to earlier. Now number eight, Glyn Thomas. And out of play by Steve Ian Misham. Thorpe to Jason Prince. Nicely inside to Mick Holmes, who just tries to break through the defence, but he has no real way of doing that, with Misham sticking so closely to the man on the wing, which is Watson, who now spreads it over to their far side to see if they can have better luck. Edmondson. Down for Mick Watson. Mick Holmes, rather. Now Farrell turns and gets the ball forward up to Francis. Got a late challenge off Jeff Thorpe. Burnley pick up the free kick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, 
Painter keeps the ball in play. Here's Conroy. Nicely spreads it over to Joe Jacob, who's been dispossessed by Dean Walling. Walling now. Big centre four for Carlisle. Watson takes it off him. On by Walsh. Thomas back to Edmondson. Prince. Nice Carlisle move. Edmondson again. Gets past the first challenge. Francis got back to dispossess him. Davis tidies things up and suddenly the game drifts from end to end. Steve Harper looks for the cross and provides it. Conroy will not get their first paint or pick up the loose ball though. Can he provide the right ball? He's decided to take on Jeff Thorpe and he's beaten him. But gives away the free kick in the process. Up with Davis. Davis gets the header out. Now Conroy, Harper's seen a lot of the ball, picks it up again. Trying to tease his way past Edmondson. Edmondson gets a toe in, Harper keeps possession. Finally, John Deary squeezes it in just over the bar. Barely a whisker away. in the Mexican wave, which is nice to see. The crowd participating again. The noise around me again is raised. The, the Burnley fans who now spread from one half of the ground to the other bring out the cheers and the uh, Mexican wave. The Mexican wave now travelling right around the ground. It's quite amazing. That's how many Burnley fans are in this ground. They seem to cover every inch. They were doing it on Wednesday night with Cardiff and they've took over Bundle Park to such an extent they can do it here and, but for one quarter of the ground it nearly went straight round Bundle Park. Holiday up in the air, Deary seen to be far then by his opposition number eight, Glyn Th Thomas. You just wonder what kind of eruption would occur. Burnley scored. They could do here now. Mick Holmes bringing the ball away for Carlisle. And Jack has missed the clearance. Williams will have to come. He'll leave it for the throw. Here's Mick Holmes, dispossessed for a second by foul. He wins the ball back. And he'll take the pass on by Watson. A shot straight at John Deary. Then the throw. 
Or rather free kick. Good set piece opportunity here. If Deary can provide the right ball, looks for Davis, comes to Farrell, Conroy inside, just saw his shot blocked, panic inside the Carlisle area for a second. Eventually, Callum O'Hanlon picks up the ball. Steve Davis drives the ball forward again. Conroy can't pick it up, looks for the free kick, it's not given. Mike Conroy has quite a few of his family here for today's game. The trip, very short from them, up from, or rather down from Scotland. I was saying before the game, he hopes he has enough tickets for them all. Brings the ball down, finds David Emerson who looks to release Jason Prince. The back pass is short and Williams has to come and clear Steve Davis's short ball. Forward again by Holiday, flicked on by Watson. It comes through to David Williams, the Burnley goalkeeper. forward again, Prins up with Misham, Misham gets the head up but again it was only as far as Watson until John Deary, the Burnley midfielder stepped in Francis and now Farrell Harper again he's been pursued by Walsh Drives it back to Jacob. Conroy inside the area, no handball, but the tidying up job was done by Andy Barnsley. We played half an hour now, and we have yet to have the opening goal of the game. And in truth, it's been Carl Hyle who've had the better territorial wise, if not chances wise, too. Watson onto Walling and then back to Watson again. Nicely through to Jason Prince. Thomas now onto Walling. Carlisle belying their lowly position in Division 4. Until that pass forward by Gwyn Thomas goes straight into the hands of Robbie Painter. Challenging again with Holiday, Francis now, and Farrell. Painter tries to step inside, Jeff Thorpe, experienced pro that he is, read it well. Misham to Farrell, in it goes inside the area, Harper's lurking, out comes Kellum O'Hanlon. To block the Burnley winger in his tracks.
Massive kick, Jason Prince looks again on the end. Steve Davis read it to perfection. Francis, back by Misham, out by Thorpe again. Robbie Painter, Thorpe, again having the beating of him. Conroy, run into trouble, but Burnley still find a way through, Painter a fraction away and going through from that pass from John Deere. Another massive kick from Kellam O'Hanlon. So far it's gone for a goal kick. There's a bit of a breeze, but not that much. And it doesn't seem to be that much against David Williams, but it's enough to give O'Hanlon a good 10, 15 more yards. There, you see the ball hanging in the air. And David Williams can kick a ball a good 60 or 70 metres off the ground. a better kick from Williams showing what he can do against the wind Watson now for Carlisle Darren Edmondson intercepted by John Deary Harper through for Conroy's offside there couldn't be much in that one through and Burnley have to concede the first corner of the game we've played some 35 minutes of this match and that's the first set piece conceded by either side Steve Davis having no real option there other than that Watson tries to flick the corner on, it comes through to Harper, who gets the ball out. Date Walsh, Francis in with the challenge, Burnley try and counter-attack, it could be on. Conroy, Painter screaming for the ball, Conroy decides to hold things up, now goes for Harper. Harper's got Francis inside, drives the cross deep, it's too far, but Burnley then had a great opportunity and it was really wasted. with a little room, he's got Prins inside, goes for Thorpe with a clever back heel, it didn't really come off. Handball by Watson. Conroy brings the ball down. John Deary through to Francis. Francis battles on and gets the cross, and it's a good one. Edmondson has to head it out for Burnley's.
first quarter of the game. We're approaching the end of this first 45 minutes. We've had no score. But Burnley now starting to raise the tempo. Joe Jacob will swing this ball in. Everybody four for Burnley. Ball. Aaron Misham and David Williams. John Deary now dropping back. Poor cross by Jacob though. It'll still be a throwing. Deary taking his time with it. Now it goes through to Conroy, immediately has three blue shirts on him. Little you could hope him to do that. He's won the throw. The best, really, you could ask of Mike Conroy in that position. <coughs> Deary now lining up the long throw, looking for Conroy. Up in the air still, Paintel head it back down. Conroy inside the area. He couldn't get the ball through to Pender. Harfield scamper after the ball. Great challenge by John Holiday. And it'll be another Burnley throw. Francis. Skipper John Pender up in the air. Harper on again. Concerted pressure here from Burnley. Pender has got Misham screaming for the ball and it's played to him now, the pass is too far. Anyway, the offside flag's up over there on that far side of Mr Oliver. <laughs> Carlisle, who already ten years ago in the second division quite amazing to think so and I'm not quite sure but I think that was the year Burnley actually went up to the second division Carlisle came down to the third but they're both in the fourth now Carlisle second from bottom to it Burnley on top you couldn't have a greater difference than this uh, but they belied their positioning, Carlisle, and have produced some neat football at times in this first 45 minutes. Enough to cause Burnley a few scares. Thought providing one then, but Williams always seems to have the beating of him. Burnley haven't had the walkover they would have hoped for. The game is still deadlocked. You feel that maybe one could signal an avalanche from Burnley, but Carlisle have produced some excellent football that the atmosphere that I'm sure they have wanted at every home game but with their position and the lowly crowd figures haven't had have lived up to every team plays better with a big crowd even if they are mostly against you Carlisle will prove that theory here in this first half. It's been their cup final. It's certainly the biggest crowd of Carlisle's season, at home at least. Probably only would be surpassed by the crowd at Turf Moor for the Burnley home game. As Jeff Thorpe goes down from that challenge, they'll have to receive some attention. signalling to his players to go forward as he launches in the kick Holiday was up so was John Pender Mick Holmes who's looked dangerous taking the ball on again and puts in a lovely pass to the left back Jeff Thorpe Watson again it was his chin Holmes and now Deary for Burnley Conroy on that far side 
appealing to Francis to make the run. No, Francis does. It's played through to him. Burnley looking to counter-attack. Francis looking to take on the Carlisle defence. Conroy again. Drives in the shot. It's blocked. Half a down for Francis. Play on, says the referee. Francis still going. Whips in the shot. It's there. John Francis with a cracking goal. Burnley have gone wild. And rightly so. Just four minutes from the end of this first half. And John Francis has produced a bit of magic that could well see his side in the third division next season. It was out of nothing. Francis showing his skill. And um, what can you say about that, except it was excellently finished. John Deary and Francis and Harper all involved. Francis with the goal that gives Burnley a priceless lead. Superb effort, even goalkeeper of the fourth division. Keelam O'Hanlon couldn't stop that one. And now the Burnley fans really do has something to celebrate. <laughs> we get the game back in the way. But there's no way of shutting the Burnley fans up now. They really are alive. Ian Misham, Farrell, Knocks the ball on again to Francis, he got a late challenge then. You felt that play should have been allowed to continue. Francis was quickly up. Mick Holmes though, being told to have a word with her for eight. If ever John Francis had to silence his critics, he was given the opportunity with that goal. Conroy heads the ball on, Francis is there again, the overhead kick, surely! Oh, Burnley getting the scrap and Conroy over the bar, but they were queuing up then, and they really should have put that one away. Steve Harper, he receiving some attention. That really should have been 2 0 then. I think Bernier will rue that miss at the half time interval. They'd certainly will rue it even more if Carlisle equalised in this game, but at the moment the Burnley fans couldn't care less, they've got the lead, and the shirts around the ground of theirs, just take a listen to this. Amazing noise here, we said it would break out to that if Burnley did manage to get on the score sheet, they've done just that three minutes before the interval and uh, have a priceless lead as we've already said and it's injured time at the end of this first half Mr Hart adding on the time for the injuries to the players from either side as the Burnley fans just below me seem to be having a party they're doing the conga quite amazing yeah, but it's that sort of atmosphere now that Burnley have got in the lead. It was tense before. It's been calmed down. Burnley will now want to go on and get three or four. Or at least make it safe, the three points. Farrell up to Conroy. Painter can't get there before Thorpe. Farrell looks for the shot, but the free kick has already been given. And into the boot goes Mike Conroy. Lots 
Johnson on, out by Meesham. And there goes the half-time whistle. The noise around me is because Burnley have the lead. It was through John Francis, a smart goal from him. Enough to mean that Burnley have a priceless lead. Hopefully they'll keep hold of it. Half-time score, Carlisle United nil. Burnley won. then champions elect back on the field they haven't made unsurprisingly any changes during the interval neither have Carlisle but they're on the verge of promotion to division three or as we said before what will be called division two there are one point if they can continue the scoreline from winning the championship and all that it achieved in a season that has provided so much entertainment and excitement for all these fans here and more. <laughs> 7,000 true claret and blues engulfing this Cumbrian team and turn but it's Carlisle going forward at the minute here's Walling over the top again but there's David Williams to collect that ball long kick from Williams Francis looks to be on the end of it Hanlon comes and collects Now Robbie Painter. Penda. Jason Prince leaves it for Watson. Bad play from Glenn Thomas, got in a tangle. Burnley should have really counter-attacked more effectively though. Harper with the ball again. That's a better ball, but Barnsley reads it a lot better than any of the Burnley forwards could. Jimmy Mullen just to my right, crouched by the neck next to two giant Alsatians. What a tremendous picture that is. Holiday on by Walling, who didn't make the best of contacts, now gets bustled out of things. John Deary, Joe Jacob, and Conroy's just offside. Alan McCaffrey, the Carlisle United manager, Will have tried to fire his team up, but with a crowd like this, I'm sure they don't need much motivation. Jimmy Mullen appealing about the dogs. They've finally been moved. up in the air, Payne flicks it on Walling with a half chance but it was gone as David Williams engulfed the ball in his arms
Misham. No painter. Misham for the game, but there's three yellow shirts offside in that attack. side it'll come back though by Walsh and then Burnley pick the ball up again good play from Andy Farrell here's Steve Harper Francis drifting away that's where it goes to Conroy in the centre what can Francis do here he gets past one challenge and provides the opportunity for Conroy unfortunately it's over his head Andy Watson what? tries to drive past Steve Davis you've got little hope of doing that as Farrell and Watson dive on the floor I think it's going to go against Andy Farrell and does free kick to Carlisle Jimmy Mullen a sight just below me he's full of anxiety as well he might his side have a priceless 1-0 lead precious three points on the line Mullen near enough to the touchline. He's willing his team on as all these Burnley fans are doing. Francis, could he provide us with a second? He's given away a free kick. A few notable spectators. Former Manchester United chairman. Well, at least for 10 days, Michael Knighton taking a watch on this game. Not quite sure whether his being at this game is for business or pleasure. It's certain we'll find out sooner rather than later. Launches the kick forward against the wind. Thomas manages to flick it on, but it'll co come straight back. I was going to say by Jacob, whose ball to do that wasn't the best. Harper heads the ball forward. It goes out for a throw. The play is now being attacked by the Alsatians. An amazing sight here, I can tell you it has been this afternoon. Everything's cooled down from that opening 10 minutes. Let's hope it can stay that way. I'm sure, certainly as Burnley are winning, it will do. I'm not quite sure on the other results yet as that cross is dangerous. Walling comes, the free kick's been given. David Williams cleaned out by Dean Walling. Jason Pins was coming in, but there was no real hope of Carlisle being allowed to continue in that place and situation. Dean Walling, former Lancastrian himself, had his spell at Rochdale before coming to Carlisle. As we're saying, we don't know the other half-time scores. They weren't put out over the Carlisle tenor. So we will not know until after this game whether Burnley are actually up for certain. Another Rotherham taking a day out as Watson tries to thread a ball through to Jason Pins. Superb interception by Davis. Here's Harper now. Back to doing some defending. Watson wins the ball again. Walling's offside. And Burnley get the free kick. 
As I say, Rotherham taking a day out. They play on Tuesday. Blackpool, however, play Northampton at home and Mansfield are in action too. They're against Rochdale. Who are Burnley's opponents on Thursday at Scotland. Hopefully by then everything will have been settled and Burnley will be up as champions with a title firmly in their pocket. Conroy cutting off O'Hanlon's run out but it's meant that Burnley can't play the ball back because he's offside at the moment he's not now though here's Francis he's been as lively as ever in this game now Ian Meesham forward and fouled by Jeff Thorpe Mike Conroy booked just before the interval. He's the only player yet to be given the yellow card, but Jeff Thorpe must be running a tightrope with Mr. Hart at the moment. Chances here, though, for Burnley. Jacob swings in the corner. Up goes Penda over the bar. or rather Walling half an hour Luke for Conroy couldn't find him Walling offside Burnley with Mark Monnington experienced defender and young Paul McKenzie on the bench Carlisle have Craig Potts and Lee Armstrong as yet no substitute introduced and we're over 10 minutes into the second half Burnley on the verge of promotion touch wood Mike Conroy Edmondson under pressure Deary battling for the ball it comes through to Jeff Thorpe who along with Walling and Watson has been very impressive Watson there now Thomas back and forward it goes by Barnsley pins down for Thomas again scurries over to Jeff Thorpe who wins the throw pins turns out of the first challenge Misham though doesn't let him pass and to the byline but has to concede the throw Swings the cross in, pins is there, goes through his legs and is tidied up by Steve Davis. No one forward but Conroy and he will chase. Oh, Hanlon comes and lets the ball drift out for a goal kick. But it's more pressure on Carlisle and more time wasted. Hanlon out of his area again gets the kick forward Davis heads it back Conroy way offside forward again for Walling flicks the ball on out by Misham back to Walling again it might come through here for Thomas 
Thorpe inside, finally John Deary calms things down. The midfielder did his job to perfection there. There was panic stations for a second for Burnley. Too far for Conroy again. And straight through to Callum O'Hanlon. David Williams, as we send the first half, able to kick the ball. A good 60 metres against the wind. So with it, there was no problem that he'd reached the keeper. He now has to judge it, so it's on the head of Mike Conroy. As Carlisle are getting ready to make a substitution below me. It's going to be Craig Potts coming on. I think Jason Prince is coming off. And now they will make that substitution. Yes, Jason Prince being taken off. 14 minutes into the second half. And Craig Potts releasing it, release, replacing him. the ball on Barnsley inside his area has to concede the throw John Deary lining up the long throw Davis has gone in for it Conroy too now joining him Harper comes short Deary waves him away and he's been told to hurry things up now it does just to prove me wrong goes short to Steve Harper John Deary it's a deep one to the back post. Painter is there. Keeps the wall in play. Ian Misham makes the run for him. John Deere will have to scamper after the ball as Carlisle now looks to break away. And he makes the tackle, John Deere, but here's Andy Watson. Wins the throw. Watson to Walsh. In went Andy Farrell and we will have another throw. Which I think the Alsatian there just to my right wants to take. Andy Watson keeps on going past his opposite number John Francis. Now Thorpe swings in the cross. Down by Walling and Francis has time here to get the ball out. Uh, maybe even release Mike Conroy. Conroy 27 goals this season, keeps the ball and provides the cross, Painter's there, on goal maybe, great save from Kellam O'Hanlon and so nearly McCombs then providing Burnley with a priceless and precious second goal. O'Hanlon proving why he's the third, fourth division goalkeeper of the season. Moves forward, but his pass isn't a good one. Watson lets the ball run out of play. This will be a Burnley throw in. Uh, Jimmy Mullen would love to see a second goal go in. It seemed likely then, with Farrell and Painter both there. Painter missing the first opportunity. Holmes nearly tucking it away for him. As Edmondson and Fowl seem to have half a dozen of one and six a dozen of the other. The referee's giving it against Francis and he's going to be booked. Maybe the second Burnley player to do so. That is going to the yellow get the yellow card and go into Mr Hart's book.
Parsley swings in the cross, up goes Welling, so did John Pender. And now the offside flag is raised, and Burnley, the free kick. Long kick from Williams again, Painter pushes up, there's Michael Thomas who nearly gave Burnley the second goal with an OG. Good play from the left back, Thorpe tries to get the ball through, it might come now to Thomas, out comes Williams again made sure of the take as Burnley for a minute put themselves under pressure Francis no Conroy Harper Gets the final touch for the throw. Walling. Battles with Jacob. Rather Jacob. Right by Pender again for another throw. We're halfway through the second half. And Burnley with 20 so minutes to go from being near enough in the third division but there's time yet for Carlisle but they're having to do some defending for the minute inside with Thomas superb save from Williams but the free kick had already been given for offside but there we see just how near and how still much of a threat Carlisle can be with a bit between the teeth at the moment. Here's Andy Watson. Tries to thread the ball through for Walling. Penders that. It's a bit of cleaning up job. There they now, putting on their own substitute. Harper coming off. Paul McKenzie coming on. Walling, Watson, oh and suddenly it comes to John Deary when it seemed like Carlisle won again. Maybe now for Mike Conroy now. Holiday doing the defensive job.
So Paul McKenzie given 20 minutes to show his worth. Here's Derek Walsh. Goes for an ambitious shot. Up comes Williams. Thought was never going to get there before him. And he's given room now for Ian Meesham to go forward. Meesham doesn't provide too many of those sorties down the right flank but when he does there's something to watch Mackenzie now gets the ball back and tries a little ambitiously to go past three blue shirts he's however nearly one of throwing on that far side he's put Carlisle in a corner though Lovely day here in Cumbria, spoiled only by the wind. The Burnley fans have had a day out to remember. It could be even better if they can keep hold this lead or even add to it. Heads the ball on, Davis back up in the air again, there's nobody there for the other shits of Burnley. Carlisle now bringing the ball away, Walsh has Watson in front of him, he couldn't be fired though by that pass. Francis goal, still keeping Burnley in front. A magical strike from a magical forward. I'm sure that all 7,000 Burnley fans here today will remember that one for a long time. Certainly if it proves to be the winner. John Deere now, his ball's forwards blocked by Edmondson. Davis, headed infield by McKenzie, now Holiday up to Walling, and he's here again Walling, but he's given the ball away, Conroy tries to step the papers up again, Painter swaps, they swap from right to left since the substitution of Harper, and John Pendle just booted into touch. Nicely inside for Watson. There was an opportunity then for the shot. Watson declined and he's lost out to Jacob. Francis, let's see his pace again. Can he break away from his marker, Dan Edmondson? Francis now needing some support. Mackenzie's providing it. Can he provide the cross, Mackenzie? He's stepped inside the substitute pots too far for Conroy, out by Walsh, back by Farrell, might fall for John Deary, just over the bar, but again Burnley showing initiative enough to warrant a second goal. for Conroy and he's found him. Conroy now with Halliday there for company and he gives away the throw. 
Thought then being substituted, one of Carlisle's better players on the night, in the afternoon, or day. Lee Armstrong, I feel, being told to push forward in the hope of getting an equaliser. Conroy. He was asked before the game whether he wanted to score here today. And every forward wants to score. But Conroy's reply was, it doesn't matter who he does here, just as long as we win. He's been boot Mike Conroy, but I'm sure he would like to pick up his 28th goal of the season and give Burnley a vital 2-0 lead. It will give them that advantage that these supporters deserve. Conroy, again, just killing a few minutes. Thomas though getting the ball up to Watson. Holiday now looks for Walling. And Burnley with Jack and pick possession up again. Davis. Forward again. Francis a fraction offside there. There could have been very little in it. But enough to mean the free kick for offside. And we are now in the last 15 minutes of this match. Armstrong. Thomas keeps the ball in play. Armstrong again. Walling. Wins the throw. Walling again. Keeping all the possession. But he's. I was going to say lost it there. But Armstrong's got it back and gets the cross in. John Deere should clear now. Panic stations for a minute. And it's into touch for another Carlisle throw. Edmondson battling through the Burnley defence. Thomas back inside, flicked on by Walling. Armstrong again, he's been at the thick of things since coming on. Conroy can't turn his man. Barnsley, who brings the ball out now for Carl Allen, tries to find a way through for the number four. Edmondson, who eventually, I was going to say, gives away the free kick. It should have been a free kick. It's only a goal kick. Clash again. Holiday a little late in coming up for the, from that challenge, but he has time now as the referee signals some treatment for him. can't help falling in love with you the Burnley fans are certainly with their Lancashire side and on that score at the moment Potts up for Walling chances here must go in and does Gwyn Thomas has come up with a goal to deny Burnley the three points there's still time for them there's ten minutes or so but Carlisle have been given a vital chance to deny Burn this promotion ambitions. Just when it seemed the three points were in the bag, Win Thomas, Carlisle's midfielder, comes out with a cracker. And it was signed to be on the cards.
Burnley now needing to score again. It fell for Thomas Kindly, but Burnley now need another Francis special. Suddenly the carnival has turned salt. Pender up in the air again. Farrell up in the air again. On through for Francis. No offside. Francis goes through. No foul, says the referee. It's going to be a tremendous climax to this game now with Burnley pushing for the winner for the second time. And the second goal. Carlisle pushing also now for the three points. Holmes. Walling who provided the chaos to give Thomas the chance. Clones is the referee. Barnsley. It was going just too well. And now here's Thomas again, the goal scorer. Out by Joe Jacob. Conroy's onside. Mike Conroy here. Golden opportunity for Burnley. It's no support. And Barnsley is able to get the ball back. Where was John Francis and Robbie Painter and Paul McKenzie then? Mike Conroy beating the offside trap, but he couldn't beat the two blue shirts in front of him. And the Burnley contingent now falling silent. Jacob up in the air again. Conroy trying to make up for that mistake a few seconds ago. Farrell. Armstrong under pressure, gets it up to Watson. Armstrong again, walling now. The Carlisle men have played as if they were at Wembley today. The crowd has certainly been the largest they played against this season. And they've rose to the occasion, and you've got to say have deserved at least something from this match. But Burnley will have wanted all three points. It looks as if it might be falling away from them now. We're deep inside the last 10 minutes. And Burnley need a second goal. And a winner. Painter on again. Here's Holmes. Driving through the defence. Great challenge by Farrell. Misham works the ball out to Mackenzie. Deary. On again looking for Conroy. Holiday in the way. Now Misham will work the ball back to Conroy. And Conroy is challenged by Holiday and Burnley win the throw. Mackenzie will wait for the throw. Or even the corner. It's going to be the corner. And that's the signal for Pender and Davis to go inside the Burnley territory. Now taking up of the Carlisle area. Jacka will swing this one in. Francis, Davis and Pender all lurking. So is Conroy. It's swung in high. Oh, what a scrap inside there. The referee gives a free kick. It wasn't really that surprising. Burnley, everybody inside the six-yard area. Carlisle with everybody back. Seemed very unlikely that they would get something from that sortie. But time is running out. That equaliser. Some 12 minutes from time. Has given Burnley something to think about. John Deary. Again he tried to go too far. Farrell not on the ball quick enough. Watson for Carlisle. Jacob misses the challenge, Watson goes on. He's been the thorn in Burnley's side all afternoon. As the opportunities now arose for Holmes. Drives the ball wide of the post. Here goes Mackenzie again, Barnsley under pressure, just finds Kellamo O'Hanlon. <laughs> D 
Davis up in the air again. Farrell flicks it on. Holiday gets it clear. And now uh, Walling. And there was no room at all for Craig Potts there. He's won the free kick, however, against Misham. It would take either Blackpool or Mansfield to have lost to mean that Burnley will have gone up if the scoreline here stays the same. If either of them two have picked up a point or one, or both won, then Burnley will have to wait for Tuesday night for what would be a championship three points. Walling gets the flick on, Deary with the clearance. Carlisle haven't given up hope yet of picking up their own three points here today. And Jimmy Mullins saying what he thought about that. As Mick Holmes launches a long throw. Walling flicks it on, it's over the bar. And out for a goal kick. Burnley currently have 76 points. Mansfield, Rotherham and Blackpool all have 73. Blackpool, of course, playing Northampton. Mansfield playing Rochdale. It would take one of those two sides to lose as Rotherham don't have a game to mean that Black Burnley were up. If the scoreline stays the same here and both those two sides win, then it will mean that a win against Wrexham on Tuesday night would signal not only Burnley's promotion, but also the championship. John Deary knocks the ball forward again. On by Thomas, back again, and it's not too far wide either by Steve Davis. To be a Carlisle goal kick. Francis Niner hurries to get the ball back to the Carlisle keeper. <laughs> Walling down for the substitute pots, trying to thread it through for Watson, Steve Davis. Bringing the ball away, Misham bringing it back and into the arms of David Williams. Family <laughs> throw. Misham will take it. Gives it to Farrell. Nothing really forward for Farrell. Has to go to John Deary. His ball forward and most more in hope and expectation. Now Joe Jacob gets it back off Robbie Painter. And Francis really should have kept hold then instead of trying for another one too. Watson's gone down under that challenge. Francis battles on with Armstrong. The free kick will now go Carlisle's way. gets the game back underway. We'll certainly have at least two or three minutes injury time to play because we're nearly up with the 45 in this second half. Joe Jacob with the throw. It's gone over Francis and Edmondson's head. And out for another throw by Barnsley. Edmondson 
Edmondson up in the air by Holmes. Walling got the touch. That'll give Burnley a throw. Jacob Conroy heads the ball on. Francis now and Deary battling for the ball. Holmes gives away the throw. Maybe one last effort for Burnley. They need to go forward and try and snatch a late winner now. And they'll not find it with that pass from John Deary. It's up for the Clarks to try and snatch to their death. They may, though, now try and settle for the one point. With still so many games in hand. Burnley, you feel, are bound to pick up three points from one of them. But it just adds the nerves for another few days. We've all seen what's happened to Manchester United. I'm sure Burnley won't want to get into that situation. Jacob with the throw in. Back to John Pender, the captain. And there goes the full time whistle. I feel that Mr. Hart's flown up early. The Burnley invasion that was thought to be a celebration is now more in hope for the coming home game against Wrexham and away visit to Rochdale. They need three more points yet, Burnley. They could be assured, but we'll have to wait for the other results. They picked up a point here against Carlisle. Francis, spectacular goal in the first half, not enough. Carl out, pitting back in the second near the end. Thanks to Gwyn Thomas. Full time score here. It's a disappointing one in the end, but it's another point for Burnley. And with games in hand, they should make what will be second division football next year. Final score Carlisle United won, Burnley won. Well, we've just had a little discussion in the dressing room there and we're, we're disappointed, you know, although we're near promotion, you know, as you said, um, we're still disappointed with the result. But, you know, we've got three games to get it right and we'll be starting on um, Tuesday at York. The goal that put Burnley in front from John Francis was certainly very special. It was, it was on the edge of the box. He cut in and he killed one, you know, past their keeper. It was a very good goal. But before, you know, we didn't play. When we got that goal from John Francis, we should have controlled the game then. But, you know, it didn't happen. Um, they come into it, scored the goal from my mistake. And, um, you know, in the end, we were happy with the draw. Yes, your mistake. You were trying to clear the ball, but played it straight to Gwyn Thomas's feet. That's right. It, a cross come over and um, it just cleared um, our centre half and their centre forward. And I didn't expect it to come down. And I swung at it and totally just miskicked it. And it went straight to his, his foot and he placed it in the net. Certainly a goal worthy of winning promotion, but sadly it didn't. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was a bit special, the goal, but it's one of them things. And uh, we've got three games left to do it still, so we've still got a good chance. Now tell us about it. You struck it superbly. You certainly got plenty of bend on it. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I can't really remember much about it. I've just, you know, tried to tee it up in the box, come back onto my right foot and just, you know, hit it and hopefully hit the target and it's flying the top corner. But strange enough, it was the first real shot on goal in the first half. It took 42 well, and a half minutes yeah. to come. Obviously, because of the, the wind and the pitch really didn't help us much, but it was a really scrappy game.